Welcome once more my friends to Bison TV with the MK Lightning in town and the Bison hoping to delay Guildford's title celebrations. The only action of note in the first period involved a former fan favourite making his presence felt on his return. Chris Wiggins slamming Zach Sullivan into the bench. Referee Clampman deeming the hit serious enough to award a five-plus game for boarding. Leaving the big man to take the lonely skate to the dressing room. With the victories over Guildford and Swindon last week, the Bison still had a chance of lifting the EPL trophy and began to lay siege to the lightning net. It was just that Alex Netham met them in the early stages, no matter how hard the home side tried. Again, the Bison looked to keep it tight and put bodies on the net, quite literally in this case. Thankfully, Netham was able to get back up and play. Finally, that persistence was rewarded with 28-17 on the clock. Good work from Messrs Greener and Rand, giving Doug Shepherd the finish. With Bison Old Boys in the stands, another grab the equaliser. Nicky Chim bursting his way to bury the puck and taking the chance to catch up with Stevie Lyle about their mould days in Cardiff in the process. Just over two minutes later and Greg Chambers decided it was time to take the game into his own hands. A neat toe drag left the defenceman standing before taking his time to put the Bison into the lead. The trouble was, less than a minute later, it was all in vain. Conor Goode left with the free path to the net, and Michael Farnes' tape to take pass put the scores level at two. No more goals, but once again the Bison found themselves in penalty trouble. Joe Green a stick rising to hit a lightning player in the face, a five-plus game going his way. The Bison killed that extended penalty, but Yanni Jokola began to make his presence felt, with the target sights just off as it pinged the pipes. Maybe the Finn just needed a bit more of a build-up. Going end-to-end, -end, he fired one through Lyle at 48.06 to give the Lightning the lead. As the game progressed, the intensity increased, with the players beginning to throw the body and whatever else that they could. Ross Bowers may be lucky to escape with one here. Lightning fans also screamed for a high stick on Lee Jameson, but our super close, super slow replay showed it was actually one of theirs that did the damage. Needless to say, by now the Bison were pushing and pushing, but Metham held firm. The MK Barmy Army celebrated, the Flames took the EPL title. With the Bison avenging the defeat the next night, they secured second place heading into the playoffs.